So if you are working with a composable CDP as kind of the center of your marketing architecture, if you choose to kind of plug and play different downstream marketing channels, like for example, if you swap out an email service provider or you want to use a new content management system, it enables you to basically architect a best of breed stack around the CDP without there being a lot of uh, work or dependencies there. That's a major one. Another one that I see is if you think about it, if someone is leveraging a data cloud, they've spent a lot of time and money and resources and making that the center of the data universe. It is essentially duplicating costs and data and overhead to then leverage, I would say, a more traditional CDP where you would basically be copying and storing that data. So almost replicating a data warehouse. So I just see a lot of operational and cost efficiencies, and then just being able to really build that best of breed stack around the composable CDP. Anytime you store, copy, or move data from one secure system to another, there is always an element of risk. So because you are not doing that with composable, you basically inherit all of the strong security and infosec measures of the data cloud and extend that to the composable CDP because the center of the data universe is the data cloud and you're not copying and kind of moving anything, you are effectively not paying to store data across two systems. So you remove that type of tech debt, which I think is a good consideration. It also allows you to, for example, if there are record-based pricing models or consum data consumption-based pricing models, you actually control the data that you make available in the composable CDP. So you actually have a lot more control over costs and pricing mechanics than you would if you're storing data in another system and consistently moving it there. If you are considering whether you are going to pursue a composable architecture and approach versus a traditional, something that I would consider as it pertains to onboarding is if you take a traditional approach and you think about the fact that you will have to ingest, map, store, and move data from one system to another, that is months and months more work compared to a composable approach where you're simply giving minimum access to a few data sets in a couple of clicks. That tends to, at least we see, reduce the time of onboarding significantly because there just isn't that whole data mapping and migration portion of the implementation.